sub guys you welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a while guys like i've gone in my a for like what a month i've not released any video for a month because i had some technical issues the camera i mostly used to record was you know not available and but we are back and better and i have so many content and video ready for you people for you guys please hit the subscribe button if this is your first time you're welcome to my channel my name is Timile Ario so today I'm going to be giving you guys all the gist I'm picking up back from where I left last video and today I'll be serving you on the shortest time I have ever dated a guy I think she gets me like a wine or so let's get this party started I was in 400 level when this thing started I think I was doing my IT and then I and this guy started IT together. Like we received, I met him at the reception on Monday. Then we received our offer letter together, our appointment letter together. We were we were posted to the same department together. And let me just put a disclaimer, guys. The guy is very fine, mm -hmm. handsome, tall, dark. I think he was like six feet tall, like very tall guy. And so we we're posted to the same department together. So we got to the office together and we started to communicate. We started to talk, you know, can I know you? Which school are you from? I told him my school in the face, said it's from Milorin, you know. We just said, you know, getting to know each other. Me in my own mind was innocent, you know, plain. Ashe Baba has been feeling me from <laughs> the very first time he set his eyes on me. <laughs> like okay so i i was just you know innocent and there were other it students you know some other departments somewhere in hr and somewhere in admin so but we always have lunch together and where i did my it was free lunch so it was time for lunch the interns at the admin will come to the quality assurance lab and all of us will go to the lunch room together so there was this guy, another guy from the HR department that we stayed in the same area. So closing time, the guy was like, ah, you know the staff that was staying in our area that I can, you know, follow them home. But so me and me and the other guy, we used to go home. I didn't know that this new guy <laughs> that I that we said worked together was a little bit jealous. So this guy in HR shop, we finished it I think like a week. So literally, because me and this HR guy go home together, we were a little bit closer than some of the other interns like that. So I didn't know that this new guy, like that works together, was only for the HR guy to be done with his own internship then he will now, you know, strike or like, let's say, approach me. So the guy, HR guy had like one extra week to finish when I started working. And so after one week, he finished his IT and he left. So remaining these guys so i could never follow them home again because it was not that like connection with the staff man so with the staff person that takes us home so and i had to start going home myself and that was how it started so one week after this hr guy left i was on my way home when this new guy let's call this new guy mr a so when mr a just decided to walk me to my bus stop I was surprised. I'm like, ah, my house is on the left, yours is on the right. Don't you think he would spend extra fare following me to my bus stop? He was like, he didn't mind. And that was how we now really started talking. So we walked from the office to my bus stop. In fact, he followed me to the bridge, like to the feet of the bridge where I was supposed to cross to the other side. And he was like, won't you hug me i'm like okay all right fine just just the hug no problem and so i hugged him and then when i got home he messaged me are you home so my mind i'm like okay this is like a typical guy something let me just try to be nice this is somebody i will see on monday morning and so we spoke on saturday on sunday and then we saw each other on monday and then I don't know where the guy automatically assumed in his brain that, you know, we were together. 
and I don't even know before I, so it was always following me home Monday Tuesday it was always following me home he will wait for me to be done with my work we'll go to lunch together he now started giving me his meat doing lunch I didn't know probably that a method or a system to woo me but you know he will start giving me his food like give me his meat you give me his meat during lunch he will tell me do you want anything to step down you buy me drink during lunch and he was doing this too, in front of every other intense like he was really doing pda so every intern that were able like liking him already knows okay mr a likes to me at first i'm like at first i was a little bit skeptical you know because i'm not really used to you know pda per se let's just do our thing coded but this guy didn't even care before you know it it was all over the company that Mr. A and Tim Leng were dating. Some factory workers would even come and be like, ah, Tim, I hate you and Mr. A. I'm like, Jesus Christ, how does this need to spread out? But we're not even like dating like that, like that. We're just friends. And I think probably my like, okay. So this guy was, you know, doing all sorts of things, buying me stores, you know. They were just letting me know that he was interested in me. So after like two weeks of him, you know, trying to, you know, Play the cars. I'm like, what the hell? Add get, add get, add get. Let's you know, agree. So we temporarily started dating. Temporarily started, started dating. In fact, that like, I said to not start reciprocating my like what you have been doing for me. So I started responding well to him. You know, I started you know carrying him along among my. My gist, you know, like I said, I, you know, doing nice stops for him also since he was already doing that to me. And then things were going good, things were going good. Came said, you know, talking the office primarily. We didn't really go outside the office per se because our work was kind of like a little bit hectic. We resumed 7 30, go home by 5, 5 get home by 9. So Saturdays was very precious to us. I used to Saturday to like sleep, so we didn't really hang out. Everything we did was within the four walls of our office. So two weeks after we said temporarily dating, we were just chatting one day and he was and he was telling me about his goals and his vision like the next five years. I'm like, okay, tell me your age so that I'll help you calculate it. <laughs> the next thing was like I'm 19. <laughs> what you're what like by the time he told me his age i can't even remember then i was literally older than him with two years it felt like i was dating my younger brother i know i've said on this channel before that you know age doesn't matter i mean there are so many couples in which the girl is older i mean Nick Jonas and his Priyan Chakopra, you know, um, Kathy and her husband, you know, it's our There are so, so many people who are there, you know, in which the, the lady is older. But, see, I think the Yoruba culture in me, or the Yoruba girl in me, do not feel comfortable dating somebody I am older than. When he told me his age, I'm like, eh? <laughs> Like that was literally how I felt, and from that two weeks that we are, we are still doing okay. Like everything I was building. So I told him we got to the office next. I didn't tell him when I told him that ah, and. Um, as when I told him that Jean had more than older than you, like, yeah, you know what? I don't care about age. All guys say so. I don't care about age. Good, but me, oh, I care about it because you fumble, or you disrespect me last night. I'll just slap your head. Do you know who you are talking to? I mean, last year I met a guy. I be last year, I be this year. And last year I met one guy like that. That guy was good in my mind. I'm like, ah, oh my, this is it. This is it. Like this is what we are waiting for. Then I found out about his age. Tended in premium tears. So most times now, because and I don't blame them because I have kind of like a small stature, so people do not even know my age. People think they do, but they actually don't know. So by the time I'm meeting the guy who's like tall, dirty Moses, and he's like I'm 19. I'm like, show your question. Do you guys get? 
but I know age is not a factor. But for me personally, it 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 psychologically does something for me. probably because of my tradition, my background. In fact, I'm Yoruba. I don't know, but that was how me and this guy ended the relationship. And I started avoiding him in the, in the office. And I started, you know, like putting a distance between us because I don't know, I don't need to end something. I start something I know that I cannot finish. And I started putting other girls in his path, people that I know that they are within his age limit, other intents, and they are actually really interested into him. At first, he was angry. At first, he was like, why am I behaving like that? All this kind of stuff. But with time, the new, I just, the new girl was all over his face and the time he moved on so guys that is the end of my story that is the shortest period of time i have or oh, i said i have i have dated somebody i don't know share your story with me, with me guys let me know in the comment section what is the shortest time you have ever dated a guy and the best comment i'm going to be featuring the best comment on this channel next week friday and put it out in the comment section have you been in any relationship where age has mattered or you don't even care about age you know let's rub minds together follow me on instagram at let follow me on twitter at extraordinary to me and follow me on facebook at me you can also follow me on linkedin let's connect let's you know keep everything alive thanks so much for watching this video thank you for being a part of this journey with me thank you for Welcome back to YouTube. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next one.